All right, so next for y'all, I got a, um, we're gonna do like a next level lineup type video. I gave y'all a lineup previously, but it was an all natural cut. Um, the previous lineup on my channel, we're about to do an all fire next level lineup with my preparations lineup, prep and everything. And I'm gonna bring it down for y'all step by step. I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like before the haircut. He gonna um, drop fade, basically the normal thing that we do. I right, drop fade like a mid, drop fade almost. I'm gonna do the haircut and everything. Let y'all see what it look like right now, and then we're gonna get up to the lineup. And yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright, look y'all to the, uh, since right now, let me focus, everything focus and everything. Alright, so we got the sides all done, all faded and everything. Got the back faded, both sides or whatever. So now it's time to do the line up. I left the line up portion for y'all, where I, I left it kind of thick for y'all so I can see the whole entire process. So, first thing you want to do, you want to make sure the line up is all combed up and lifted out where the hair is all combed up, combed up and lifted off the scalp. Just so y'all can have a more even and precise cut. Now for the hair, we're going to cut everything down with a one guard. With dreads, don't be scared. A lot of y'all scared. They have a part. Hold your head down a little bit for me. All right, look, look y'all. They got a part right here to where the hair separates. If you're scared of cutting this hair, what you want to do is take the take what you know is down or what you know is the line of portion that you're gonna cut and kind of comb back, comb back, and then press down right there, comb all that stuff forward. And what that does, that makes sure all the hair that's entitled to his dreads go into his dreads instead of coming down here. Because they have a lot of little straggly pieces. See, when I comb down right there, it's not my comb not getting caught on nothing because all the hair that's with his dreads is actually, you know, with his dreads because he hasn't had a retwist yet, but we don't cut that. We don't want to cut the hairs that's with his retwist. So what is needed to do is retwist. And right here, we're going to do the same exact thing. Hold it down, comb up, pull all this hair up the top, and then just comb down. And boom. All this hair that's down here is for his liner. Now all the hair up here, we're going to cut it down with a one guard. Alright, whenever I'm doing my liner prep, I kind of like to, well, I like to lean the client back. Um, this is still capable if you don't have a reclining chair for real. So you're going to lean them back. Make sure you tell your clients first that you're going to lean them back because a lot of people, they be, oh, they be, they, you know, they be, they be, yeah, they don't be ready for it. So you're going to lean them back. Uh, but right now, and now we're gonna start off our liner process for real. So what we do first, we kind of get some foam and we spread it all on his liner. You can skip this whole entire step of this whole entire process if you want to. If you don't have enough time to do it, wherever you cut it, or if you don't have the appliance. And I'm gonna let y'all know it does add on like a few, a few more minutes, probably like an extra five minutes. And mostly all the clients really love it for real, to be honest. They, they act like they say it's like a, um, like they in a, a, a spa or something like that. So after you do that, you wanna get a warm towel or a hot towel, or a warm towel right there. And then you just wanna sit the towel on the lineup. Very easy, very simple, and you just leave it there. You leave it there until the until the towel gets kind of um, you know, cold or you know, cool or whatever. So you just let it sit down. And this is really for this helps lay the lineup down a little bit more. Um, holding spray will work and everything, but this helps lay the lineup down just a little tad bit more for real. But. If you don't have the, these um, appliances or whatever, it's okay. You can skip the, this whole entire step. Because I'm about to show y'all something else that's going to get the job done just as well. What I like to do, I like to get in a little cotton swab for real. And just swab down this lineup. And this is alcohol that I'm using. Everybody should have alcohol at the shop. Everybody. And this, is, this ensures that his lineup is clean and everything. And it also dries the lineup or dries his um his scalp for real. Y'all wanna know how them people get them them white lines and them crispy lines? 
without doing anything for them, this is how they do it. So right now we're gonna add a hole in the spring. Um, I eventually wanna switch from this hole in the spring. You don't wanna to add too much, just some on the line. I'm trying not to get it on his forehead because it will have a glare look. And then you're gonna dry all that out. I use Tessimate for the beard. I use Tessimate for the beard and um, Gotta Be for the liner because Gotta Be is a stronger, it's a stronger holding spray than Tessimate. And you don't want people's faces to be like really, really stiff and whatever when you're putting a holding spray to do a beard. So, and then Tessimate is also too weak for the line of look that, I, that, I, that I'm trying to achieve. Or maybe it's all in my head. Maybe the look that I have is already perfect already for us. Me as a barber, you should always push to be better, I want to say. And it's always a look you should have in the back of your mind that you want to achieve that, that, your cuts will, that you will want your cuts to look like. And you should try to strive and achieve that look and also achieve that. They probably have somebody else that came out, somebody you didn't see, that probably got a better look or uh, something that they have up the arsenal that you want to add into or implement into your lineup. We're going to call it a lineup. All right, and yo, whenever y'all doing your home, um, your lineup and y'all starting to do your lineup process, make sure it's at a correct length. I'm 5'10", 5'11", so, with that being said, I'm not all the way up, I'm not 6'4", 6'5", or whatever. So if I try to do this lineup with well, a pair of my clippers, I'm gonna kinda have to lean up like this, so lean forward, and that's gonna mess up my, kinda like my perspective of the whole entire line. Cause you wanna be able to see everything when you're doing a line. So what you wanna do, adjust the height. Make sure you adjust the height, don't be nervous, don't be timid, and don't be kinda like in your own little box for real. And we don't want them too low, cause we don't wanna be looking all the way on the top of the head. We want them at a good height, so you can slightly lean up the same like this, and then you can start. Whenever y'all doing your clients, y'all want to make sure it's face to face, because that's the way you're going to go home and look in the mirror, and that's how people are going to be looking at him face to face. If you're lining up your client from over here, your line up probably going to be on, um, probably, it's probably going to be straight from anybody that looks at it from this angle, and if you're down here line up the line up, it's probably going to be straight for anybody that's looking down here at their line up, but you want to make sure it's straight with him face to face. So that's why you want to do a face to face, type thing like that. And boom, you don't want to move to this side, line up this side, because you're not able to see the right side of his head. That's why you don't, that's why you always start in the middle and you work your way to one side, and then you can move over, make adjustments, and then work yourself to the left side or whatever, and then move over, make adjustments right there. But you always want to come back to the center point right here, just so you can tell and just so you can, just get a nice crispy straight line. All right, to start the cut off, we're gonna start right here. Now I'm gonna let y'all look at his lineup real quick. Just so y'all can see what it looks like. Our client has a, uh, his hair, his hair kind of dips in. It kind of goes out and then it dips in right here in the corners. So that's a be, that'll be a problem y'all run into a lot for real. And then he has a over, he has a lot, a lot of new growth. What you want to do, you kind of want to just start in the middle and go over. Some of this will be, will be taken off. It's not a pushback is what's recommended to make him a, um, a straight line. Now what you don't want to do, because he has a lot of nuclear right here growing down and down in this area, you don't want to take this back. There's no need to take this back a lot or whatever. It's just maybe just a little tiny bit and just work your way over him. And the size you would need to take it back, but you don't want to take it back in the middle, but that would be a, um, a pushback because he has a lot of hair right here and it grows a lot right there. So, Pull the client, adjust the client head, start in the middle. Boom. And then you want to dictate what side is the strong side and the weak side. So the strong side and the weak side, he don't have no strong side or weak side, they both strong. He got a strong line up. Yeah, everybody not blessed with no strong lineup, but he, he got a pretty strong lineup. So, you can choose to go either way. Either side, you can work on. Right-handed people, I would recommend y'all go to the right side, and then work your way to the left. Left-handed people, I recommend y'all go to the left, and then work your way to the right side. It's easy to go your dominant hands way. When we work our way to the right side, you kind of want to 
basically imagine you just cut these little hairs right here, make the fit a little bit nicer. Just a little adjustment. But you kind of want to imagine. Me, I can already see the line before I even start. So we're going to line up taking it right here. Maybe taking it up a little bit in the corners. And then we're going to take it about right here. And we're going to take it to about right here to where you can slightly make, make the line up right here tilt a little bit towards this way. Instead of just going straight up. If you go straight up, when you look at it from the front, his lineup is going to look like this instead of this. So, I'm about to start on that real quick. And when y'all do it, make sure he don't have too much tension in your hair. If y'all do have a con with a lot of hair, see how it's just bun bunched up right there and he got a lot of room? That means it's not a lot of tension. It's not pulling the scalp back. So, you're going to start. Right now, I'm going to use the right side of my clipper, on my trimmer. I'm moving back, looking at it, seeing if, seeing if I need to make any adjustments. If I don't, I just keep going in this line, straight line. Step back, look at it. It's starting to tilt down a little bit, so I got to make the adjustment and not follow this, and I got to slightly tilt it up. The slightest tilt up makes all the difference. Boom, boom. Step back, look at it. Slightly tilt it up right here. I can see. When it's not a straight line, you can kind of see it's like an angle and it does this. It might be a soft angle, but it's going to be an angle that you can obviously see and make an adjustment to. And that looks like about a, about a good angle right there, so we can start making our line up on the side. And we're going to create this point. We're not going to dig in here and make your way back here. We're going to take the, from the lightest spot to where the, mo the hair is most thick. And we're going to connect it to this right here. You're not going to dig in. And this is what it looks like from the front. We might need to adjust it a little bit. I'm looking at it. It looks pretty good right now. So now we're going to do this, do this side exactly how we do this side. We're going to mirror this side and this side together. When you match the other side with the side that you previously just done, you want to use this side as a reference point. Get his head straight. Just work your way over. Using the left side of your clipper blade. If you want, if you was working to the left side at first, now you're using the right side of your clipper blade. Back up, look at it. Go back in. Boom. Back up, look at it. Now I'm about to show y'all this. It looks like it's going from the camera, the camera angle right now, it looks like it's going in a straight line. But once I turn them, Right there, you can kind of see it's kind of sli uh, slightly starting to curve on his left side. So what we're going to do, we're not going to follow this pattern no more. And we're going to slightly cut in right here and make it go up into a straight line. A lot of bulbers, even your favorite bulber for real, does not understand this step, man. I know a lot of bulbers that will, and the corners just dip. A lot of Instagram bulbers, a lot of bulbers that be on YouTube, they do not know this. So now, I'm giving y'all information that they don't have, and they also don't have. I don't think there's nobody else that teaches this on YouTube. But slightly bringing it up just a little bit. Boom. Wherever this side landed at, it's by his eyebrows, but it's slight. It's not at the edge of his eyebrows, but it's in the middle. We're gonna make it, it's like right here. And as y'all can see, as I send in these lines, the haircut is coming together. You can start to see the full outlay of the haircut. That's why I, that's why I like um, lining the client up a lot. Boom. I know y'all can see that. Nice, nice clean haircut so far. All right, right here. We going we still, when, when it comes to setting in the C cup right here, you still want to pick the, um, the weak side from the strong side. This is his weak side. What determines the weak side and the strong side is how far does this ex extend down to his eyebrows or down to the rest of his face. The other side goes about right here, and this side goes about up here. So if, the, if, if we was to line up his right side first, we'd be lining this up down there, down here, over them, and then we're lining this up way over here so they won't be identical or evenly matched, and that'll make the haircut look all janky. You might have a straight line up, but it'll look all, it won't look complete. It won't be that next level look that y'all are looking for. Start right here to where the hair is like the thickest at, but not too far back. 
And we're using this as a, as, a, as a guide, this finger right here. This finger makes sure everything is steady. And we're just moving in the way of, uh, in, in the way of a C. That's why most people call it the C cup. And now we simply just want to match the sides. Doing the same exact thing. Still using our finger as a guide. Now we're just going to simply add our pencil. Even though we don't need it, it's nice and crispy, but this is going to make it pop a little bit more. But really on this channel, we try to focus on making the client look, or the enhancements look as natural as possible. It's the lightest touch that does, that, that makes, that goes the, the longest mile for real. And then after that, we're going to simply just add our enhancements. Just lightly doing it. Two, two sprays. And as y'all can see, the lineup looks perfect. I know y'all can see that. <laughs> now all we're going to do now is just add our raisin. This is the last finishing touch that I do with everything when it comes to the lineup. I'm taking my time on camera for y'all. This literally takes a couple seconds. You're making sure you're moving back and forth, not side to side. Side to side is cutting somebody up and down. Up and down, have your blade straight, not cut nobody side to side, we'll cut somebody. So that piece of information should help y'all out. Actually, yeah. And we're doing this all in real time. I do all my footage raw. I may pause the camera to, to get another angle for you guys so I can see better. But everything is raw, everything is genuine. Everything that I say, I don't cut nothing out, I don't leave nothing out. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not perfect and I'm human. I make mistakes just like everybody else. And on this channel, we're not going to act like every haircut is perfect or everything is just perfect. So, But every haircut that y'all do see, if it do look perfect, this is exactly what I do. I don't leave nothing out. And whatever y'all see on here is actually how the haircut looks. It's not because of the camera. If I was to record this on my phone, it would look the same exact way. Turn your head for me. Boom. All right, y'all, so this is what the haircut looks like for the end product right here. What we did shift the beard up, gave him a nice little edge up for the beard and everything. And the lineup. And y'all, this is real, real simple, real easy process, real, real simple steps or whatever. Boom. But look, this is the end of the video. Oh, it's HYB. If you're not handling your business, what you're doing. And we out. Just to show y'all that, you know, You know you're not gonna be stuck in the same position forever. You just gotta keep grinding, keep working. You gotta gotta be passionate. Whoever's passionate when it comes to this barber and stuff, those are the people who make it for us. Gotta keep striving to do better and stuff like that. But yeah, we out. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, like the video. Make sure I share if y'all can. Make sure I comment. Leave a comment. Let me know if y'all what y'all think about my videos or whatever. And make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna have it probably right here, or maybe not, who knows? It probably gonna be a blank space right there, but I'm gonna try to put my Instagram right here. It's just HYB on Instagram, or well, HYB.IG. And yeah, we out.